Hello, welcome to Topper Machine. I'm Josh Topper. So if you saw Saturday's video, there were a lot of questions on why I put my chamfering tool higher on internal chamfers. And I'm gonna explain that in this video. Okay, so my tools are all set up in the Aloris tool post for external work. Everything is set that way. But when we come in on an internal chamfer, there's a couple of reasons why I lift it. One is clearance. And I don't do a lot of this small stuff, but it doesn't clear all the time with these, these uh, carbide braze tool bits that I use. And I like these because they're cheap. You throw them away when they get bad or you can regrind them with a diamond. But when you get on the internal chamfer, center is actually, you wanna be a little bit higher because you're opposite of your external. So external, you wanna be at or slightly below and internal, if you come up slightly above center, it'll cut a little bit better. All right, so I just started up the lathe. I dropped it down to center. And I'm gonna bring it in with what I can actually hit um, and not bottom out that cutter. And just chamfer it. Like I said, this is an awful small part for me, um, but there's a burr there. Um, there's more than there would be doing it the other way, the way I do it. Now I'll face this off and uh, I'll machine that, you know, I'll machine that burr off or that this chamfer off and then I'll lift it up and chamfer it. So I hope you can see that I have it just maybe an eighth inch high. And I can come in a little easier and nail it. And now I don't know what you can see here, but there is almost no burr on there. Actually a little better surface finish that I can feel. And that's why I do that. I lift the, the cutter a little bit on the internal threat. Um, chamfers. All right, now I'm going to come over to the lion and I'm going to show you on something a little bit bigger. And this will exaggerate it uh, and show really why I do it the way I do it. Um, it works great on the smaller bores, but it really helps on these bigger bores. So in order to demonstrate this, I've had to exaggerate the stick out of my tool a lot. Um, but when you come in, so right about there, well, there, I am touching the inside bore with my tool. And I don't have a lot of room here before it'll hit. And it'll, you know, I'd have to grind out the bottom of the tool to make that work. Now if I just raise it up a little bit, that improved that gap significantly. And it'll actually give me a little better surface finish because it's not at center or slightly below. It is just above center for the ID. So I hope that made sense, explained why I do it that way. Cause I mean, really you think about it, external tools are at center or below. Internal tools, boring bars and such are slightly above center or depending on, you know, if you run an insert tool, their pitch turned to change that, that center location. So they're cutting better. Um, so just raising that tool up just a little bit to do that inside chamfer will change the, the geometry, change everything, and make it so much easier for you in the long run. That's why I do it that way. I hope you enjoyed this quick video. Until next time, get out in your shop and get it done right the first time.